Hello! Welcome to tonight session. You saw me dancing the entire time to our theme song. Um, so we're short man tonight. We're short storied. We're short everything. But that's okay. We're going to push on. Uh, warning for tonight's audience. We will be doing a lot of theater of the mind again. Because like yesterday, I have still yet to unpack all the stuff from the last time we went out and did things. Uh, it is at the bottom of all the boxes. So, we play on. Um, I am joined tonight by Mouse. And Iron, Yo, you guys know these yahoos. Um, you guys want to do a quick introduction or anything like that, or shall we just jump into it? I'm like internationally famous or something. They know me. All right, they know you. All right, all right, gotcha. Good, good. <laughs> Iron. Yeah. Also famous. Good to go. Uh, I'm alive. Yeah, good enough. <laughs> okay, so. We are continuing where we left off. So, do you guys remember where we left off? Do you want me to summarize? Do you want to summarize what we're doing? What were what was about to happen? Uh, I think go we just, ahead and summarize. Uh, oh, are you going to? Yeah, no, I, I was just trying to remember because I know that we just are now in the enemy ship after dealing with their like smaller fighters. We're gonna we're gonna blow them up. Anything else? Uh, I don't recall too much besides that we made our way through the asteroid field first, avoided some mines, yep. and then I don't remember which like a method we decided we were gonna use to blow up the ship, but we we did choose one of them. Yes, you did. That is the one that we are doing. Yes, <laughs> two hours of arguing, but you guys decided on blow up the engines again this time for real. Um. Engines. Because we have the tools to do so. Um, your boy Hex over here uh, is outfitted with his big old pew-pew gun. That if I get a direct hit on the engines, there'll be catastrophic issues and all that fun stuff. So all that means is you gotta keep me safe for four rounds. While I charge the lasers. Yep. Um, and on that note... Um, because it is theater of the mind, we're just going to do some rolls and other things instead of uh, classic QPUs with your uh, mechs in the thing. So, looking at your mech stats and things like that, there are six enemy turrets that are targeting us. Your job is to keep them busy. They are all within range, um, and you just got to make sure they don't shoot me. That easy peasy. I will also be controlling our other two yahoos that should be here but are not. Uh, they will also be acting as diversionary tactic -y stuff. Um, so, how would you like to deal with distracting the turrets the first round? And by distracting, that doesn't negate the ability to just blow them straight up. But, I will say, unless you have something that allows you to target multiple creatures in a single round, you're probably only going to be able to shoot at one of the six. I can and body block the door. I mean, that's also um, an option. Y'all could just, like, form around me for four turns until I go, pew! Well, the thing is, I have swords. Swords with range. So, if you remember... I could, basically, I could basically stun each of them once. And are these, like, guns... Are, are they, like... Do the turrets shoot bullets or, like, lasers? So, they are anti-aircraft... Uh... Stuff for in right. space. Um, but, so that's kind of a 50-50. It could be either, to be honest. Are you um, more happy, okay. guys? I'm trying I, to remember. Well, you guys you guys goofed up the other turns and things. I'm going to say these ones that are specifically meant for close-range defense of the engine are lasers. Okay. Then I have one idea, uh, and it is that I activate my core system. Okay. I get in close, and the Manticore frame has resistance to energy damage. Okay. Uh, and then I also have, uh, I also have the Sekhmet class in HP. The plan being is that I just uh, literally tear into all of the turrets uh, with any time I take heat, I would be dealing two AP. To a character, and then I could I could like if I activated core power, whenever I take heat or energy damage, 
uh, I can increase a charge die, and then basically, um, when it gets to full, I explode. So I could just, like, I could either just try to second that protocol and just, like, kill them with a sword, or I could stand in front, uh, I could just <laughs> stand in front of Hex for a few rounds, take some bullets, uh, and then once my, once my, uh, die is up to full, then I could basically move closer to all of them and do a 6d6 AP energy damage. That'd be pretty good. Um, so, uh, what size is your mech, though? Uh, it's only size one. Okay. So, because I am rocking that size three big boy, um, it's gonna take three people to cover me to have quote-unquote effective body blocking. Um, so would you like me to assign the other two yahoos as body blockers while you absorb some of that energy? Um, this doesn't sound like the best idea, since I hypothetically will be only getting hit like a third of the time. It's probably you just better. just want to go and... Just kill them. Yes, best defense is offense, right? Uh, then yeah, I'll probably just be using. Uh, I'll probably I'll do two things. One of which is spin up my assault cannon. Okay. Yeah, it's probably uh, that. That would be good. <laughs> yeah. Um. So while it's spinned up, it has reliable three, but I am slowed. Uh, but it does a shit. Ton, it does a shit ton of other stuff. Okay, and then probably shield. as probably as like my other quick action, I'm using uh, quick tech to do smite, and basically one by one stunning the um like each of the turrets. They can only be stunned once by it in a scene. So okay. I'd just be doing like one turret, next turret, next turret, next turret. Gotcha. Just so, making sure that one of them spend a turn stunned. So we have some sort of uh semblance to what everyone's doing. I'm going to explain where these turns are to you, so you guys have a relation of how far you need to go in between turns and things like that, because again, we're just theatering the mind of it, because it's just that much easier. There are three turrets on either side of this. Uh, we'll call it a maintenance bay, is the easiest way to describe it, right? It's uh, the back part of the ship, where the ships land, where all the engine-y, terminal-y stuff connects to the actual engines themselves, all that fun stuff, right? It's a big open door in its butt that is well defended. The six turrets that are on either side, there's one at the two at the top, two in the middle, two at the bottom. They are ten squares apart longwise, and uh, three squares apart, or not squares, hexes, whatever you want to call them, apart up and down. So one, so there's six in between the top and the bottom. Cool beans? Just so you guys yeah. have an understanding of the layout of what you're dealing with. They all also seem to have some kind of, what's the best way to describe this, energy shield. Uh, you guys have similar technology in your mechs. Um, they give them a tad bit more fortitude against uh, range stuff. Hmm. Um, so, next bit is turn order. So I'm going to roll for the other two yahoos and then you guys. Um, just so we have a round robin of the Three of us. Actually, sorry. We don't need to worry about that. Who wants to go first? So are we... Uh, I can We're stun one immediately. Say what? Uh, that probably be good. I can try to stun one, like, right off the rip. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sure, I'll go. Uh, this should be fine, because uh, I'll just move a little bit in uh, just to be kind of in, vaguely in front of people. Um, yeah, but I'm going to just move so that I'm with eight, within eight range of all the turrets, basically. So just like a few spaces up. Okay. And then so I will use a quick action to you, spin up my... You have the EAD uh, unit, yeah? Second. Yes. Okay. Um... Yeah, so I'll use a quick action to spin up my assault cannon, uh, and then I'll use another quick action on just any one of the turrets to try to invade it. 
Okay. No, we'll just number them one through six. You go one, two, three, Wait. four, five, six. Which one do you want to target? We'll just do one. We'll just go in, you know, chronological order or whatnot. Works for me. All right. So, uh, do you need it to make a save or does it, you make an attack? You make. An attack. I rolled a hit. Uh, yeah. And then, yeah, I'm rolling against E defense. Um. Yeah, so does an eight beat its e, beat its e defense? How much? Eight. Eight total. No. Uh. Okay. Then I miss, and uh, nothing happens. Uh, and then I think that is pretty much. It. Uh, yeah, that's all I'm gonna do. Okay. Uh, that means it is turret number one's turn. It has five targets, so I'm rolling a d10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It targets number seven. Our silvery boy of doom has caught its attention. Excuse me. This is terribly. All right, who's next? Well, I mean, it can't be me. <laughs> yep. So I was thinking, uh, I, I was thinking, I would go last, just so like yeah. Uh, spending by virtue of that, that, I'm just like, oh god. Uh what do though? Start on uh, the other side, maybe. I guess. Start from six, go to one. You guys mean the middle? No, it's more like, I don't know if I would be better. It might be more use for me to just start running and hacking people. By hacking, I mean, like, actually cutting them. So we do have the turrets. Uh... Gosh dang it. So we just have those two turrets that are aiming at us, right? Six. Six turrets. Oh boy. Uh... What do you think, Moth? Um, I mean, if you can get close to them, we just need to make sure that we're drawing fire. Um... Yeah, that's fair. Um, how far away are they? Ten, I think. Ten? And then there are three spaces between so there, them. There are ten away from each other. Three and right. three up, three down. Um, and then you guys are starting off about ten, ten away. Sorry, five away from uh, the center center. So five either direction, basically. Okay. Because you guys and came over the middle of the back of the ship. Yeah. Uh, in that case, I'm going to go for the nearest one. Okay, you are equal distance to all six. Would you like to pick a number and just go from there? Yeah. Okay. Moth has jumped Pro preferably at probably one. right into the right in the thick of it. So again, my suggestion is start at six and work your way down. You could also start at three, so on and so forth. All right, uh, then we'll do six. Six is fine. All right. So what's your speed? Five. Okay, so you can get right in front of this thing if you want to. Uh, yeah, can I get behind it? Uh, it doesn't really have a behind. Well, I mean, behind it so I can get a little, like, one space closer or so to the other one. Oh, yeah, 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 totally. You're Basically, really... yeah, just getting close. I you're, forget. You're not really a behind anymore. it, you're above it, but that's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's still close enough for me to use all five pips of movement and beat the crap out of it at yep. the same time without having to do anything in particular. Correct. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. Wacky pee pee. Yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. Uh, troll stance. Okay. Barrage with the torch. Barrage going to lead with, with Tsurashima Blade first. Okay. Barrage, barrage. Okay, rolling. 
What's my weapon thing again? Is it plus five? Plus five. Uh, right? 21. Yes. <laughs> Hits and criticals. Attack. Hit. And, all right, time to start rolling dice. First we have first d6. Second d6. Third d6. And then since it's a crit, we roll them again. Uh, 16 damage total. 16 damage. Solid schwacky, schwacky, schwack. Um, and oh, one moment. And of that, and of that, 13 of the 16 is uh, AP. <laughs> shredded. Uh, you will notice that your melee attacks seem to go through that little energy barrier as if it's not there. Oh, I'm the perfect person for this. This is great. Okay, and because of that, uh, I get to move two spaces. Okay, do you want to move two spaces, or are you good where you're at? Yeah, I'm going to move two spaces to the other guy. Okay. Uh... Yeah, screw it. Why not? Okay, we're gonna go overcharge. Okay. Rolling a d6. D3, actually, but... Hey, and we get a 3. That's not bad. I will take that, and that brings me closer to being in the danger. Danger zone! One and only time. I've turned my... The fact that I am overheating my mech into a resource. Alright. Seven spaces. Luckily, Torch has a range. Well, a Largo threat distance. Close enough. Okay. Sixteen total. Sixteen total. How dare you? No, just kidding. Um, sixteen total hits. Woohoo! Now let's roll this for burn. Burn beam. Yay. Uh, five energy, three burn. Again, your sticky stick of lightsaber does well against this thing. Yeah. I did the thing. Okay. Uh enemy two Again, whole bunch of targets. No one's hit it yet, so it's on free target. Me! It shoots at me, rude. Oh boy. I I mean it doesn't this is the time to get shot at this first round. Uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> wow, and it hits 19 plus pluses. Uh yeah, that's way better than my evasion of like Where is where's Eight. my a uh, 10. I'm 10. I'm very agile as a pilot. Hmm. <sighs> Biggest mech that we can find. That's why that's why I'm piling the big. Well, you have it's why you have your friend in there. You got your <laughs> your boy in there helping you out. Yep. All right. So uh, I'm gonna take energy damage, which of course I'm not resistant to, unfortunately. Only explosive. Oh come on. Ah. Okay. So I take twelve points of damage. Um. Ow. On mm. that, though, I get to negate three of it, so it's actually only nine. Uh, but that still hurt. I'm at uh, 12 out of 23, if anyone cares. So, uh, oof. These turrets are mean. Alright, uh, next is me or one of the NPC yahoos. 
Uh, so I'm going to do NPC Yahoos. Uh, and specifically, we're going to start with Camera Boy, because uh, he got attacked first um, by turret number one. Uh, and he is just going to activate fragmentation signal on that turret, or at least he's going to try. So he's making a tech attack for his quick action. And then he's going to pew pew with all this freebie stuff. Hits! So, uh, that means with the fragmented signal... Uh, da da da! The become impaired and slowed. Since it's a turret, it can't be slowed, but it is impaired. So, difficulties and whatnot. That's nice. Um, and then he'll do the same thing to number two. So he's just gonna, you know, frag it, frag them both. Extra frag. Oh, hey. Oh, right over here. 18. All right. I'm rolling really good tonight uh, for both the good guys and the bad. Uh, so 18 plus pluses uh, breaks through the thing. That's two impaired turrets. Yay us. <clears throat> Mama, doing Mama things, is going to activate Sill and all of her other su fun stuff. So if anyone attacks anyone but her from here on out, it's going to be a bad day. Uh, she is playing defensive Yahoo in front of me. Um, so she is literally right in front of me while I'm charging. Uh, hopefully she will move before I pew pew this big gun in her face. Um, but it's not her turn yet. Sorry, I forgot there's other turrets. Turret number three! Uh, pew pews at somebody. Let's see who. Uh, da -da -da. Golden Boy takes, or sorry, Silver Boy takes another pew pew to the chest. Four plus pluses misses terribly. He's got good AC. Or AG. AG? AG. Agility. That one. Um, moving on. And then... There was a spider. Mama does mama things. She's posted up defensive. She's taken up two of my spaces directly in front of me. So that's nice. Um, last but not least, turret number four. Uh, you guys didn't touch this one yet. So again, let's pew pew in at will. At me. Okay, I'm using our new silicone dice that we just picked up. Oh. Which, by the way, super cool. These ones look like Nemo, so we're calling them Nemo dice. Uh, but they are bouncy AF, and so uh, keeping them on the table is very fun. Two plus pluses. Misses terribly. Uh, me, right? I yes, think so. Because we, we started. There's only five of us, so they'll get two at the very end, unfortunately. Um, anyway... I'm going to spin up the gun. So that's a quick action for me to activate my uh, apocalypse rail. Yep. <clears throat> when activated, you start charging the Barbosa's uh, apocalypse. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stuff in the things. All right. Charge four. Doesn't do jack diddly. <laughs> but. Let's go. Cannot be fired when it is on set four. Uh, yeah. So I still technically have a short action, so I think before I activate this, because it didn't have to be, it's not a protocol like I thought it was, uh, I can do it afterwards. So I'm going to do something else first, and then do the thing, um, which is going to be a direct shot of the siege cannon on my back, because why not, right? Uh, we're going to attack number... Uh, so many choices here. I'm going to tag number five because uh, it's up next. <laughs> All right. With my whopping dopping plus five, uh, 14 plus five is 19. 19 hits. Unfortunately, it's not a critical, but whatever. Do a 3d6 with no special pluses at this point. Should have stabilized, but I did not because I want to fire this apocalypse rail. Five. Three. Five. Oi, thirteen's good. Not enough to finish the turret off, but a solid schwack. It's hurt. <clears throat> A bit of hurting helps, I suppose. Yes. Yes. 
And the only thing that changes when I change it to direct fire mode is the heat two. It would have knockback, but since it's a turret, it can't be moved. So that's that. All right. And then I'm going to start my charge rail preparing to fire. So it's set. Set four. Woo. That's my turn. It's now the enemy's turn. Number five just got shot by me. Um, it does not return the favor. Instead, it attacks Mouse. Yipe. I don't know why. Sorry, Mouse. <laughs> does a... Seven total hit you. That does not, unfortunately. Enjoy that critical fail. Uh, <laughs> I absolutely will. Uh, so, yeah, miss. Um... That's it, sir. Number six. Same thing. Hasn't been slapped. Uh, actually, Iron, you hit the hell out of this one, right? This, this one's damaged. So it's going to rotate up and... Actually, I guess five was hit, too. Hmm. Oops. Should have attacked you with both of these. Whatever. Iron, you're getting attacked. Oh, dear. Uh, 16. Oh, yeah. That, that, that do hit. That do hit. All right. You do get the, the swax to the butt. 3d6. Oh, no. Six. One. One. All right. That's not so bad. Eight. Okay. It's reduced. So, so. Okie dokie. Um, I'll, I'll take it. Top of the order. Mouse. Okay. You're next to turret one. Well, I am going to... Uh, okay. Lots of stuff. First of all, I'm going to protocol activate core system. Okay. Then, we're gonna start getting cool, because, uh, you mentioned that the, um, energy shield seemed to, uh, not be so good against melee weapons. Correct. Which I like, because I have a nanocarbon sword. Uh, I don't think any of them are within, like, close enough for me to do my multi-attack thing with the sword, which does suck. But it does mean that I can sort of just cheat with my segment knife nanocarbon sword. So yeah, I guess I'm going to... Um... Would would I happen to know if like if I made a ranged attack at melee range, would it be like would that go through the shield or is it just melee attacks are through the shield, ranged attacks? You wouldn't know, but it would be safe to assume that ranged is gonna trigger the shield. Okay. Then I'm gonna go forward to the first one, and I'm just gonna skirmish the nanocarbon sword. Okay. It's going to be a 13 to hit. 13 to hit misses. Okay. Then that will miss. It still takes three damage from Reliable. Okay. So as you clink on the outside of it, you just kind of misjudge the distance. It's been a bit since you used your sword, apparently. It's a little shorter than you remember. Uh, and you do three points of damage. The turret says, hey, that was a nice. Anything else? And then I'm going to... Uh, yep. Free action, I'm going to attack with the segment knife. Okay. Uh, it also misses, so it doesn't do anything. Unfortunate. A swing and a miss! Alright. And then, I am going to use my other quick action, do a quick tech on number one as well, just aiming for another invade. Okay. Exact same thing. It's a 24. It's actually a natural 20. I was like, oh yeah, 24 is pretty good, and then my, my bonus is plus 4. Nice. Okay, so... Oh, I would have had an accuracy as well, I guess. You got it. Yeah, it's a 30. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Yeah. You yeah. got it! I'm, uh, yeah, and then I am going to smite. So I'm going to take some damage, and okay. then I need it to make a system save. Okay. What is it saving against, total-wise? It is saving against a 50. It's not going to matter. I rolled a 2. Uh, it fails. Awesome. It's stunned. I take 1 point of energy damage. My charge die moves up by 1. Uh, where is that? 
boop is I can't keep track of my die. That's whatever. It's uh at my charge die is at two right now. It's fine. Uh, it also takes another two AP or er, well, it's about two. Sorry, I'm about to overcharge again. Four. One D three heat. Where is this on my sheet? There it is. Overcharge, one heat, it takes another 3 AP energy damage, my charge die goes up again, and then I'm going to use my uh, other quick action to skirmish again. It also misses, <laughs> so uh, it takes another 3 kinetic damage. Okay, solid schwack, 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 turret still standing. Yep. Uh, and that is I should say the... not so solid schwack, schwack, schwack. Uh, yeah, that is... The, oh, well, I did hit a tech attack, so I guess it did have an accuracy. Um, but I don't think so, because... Yeah, a 13 would still miss, so even if I rolled maximum, it wouldn't matter. So, whatever. Anyway, yeah, that's the end of my turn. Alright, it returns the favor, but it is impaired, so it'll be rolling a difficulty die as it shoots you. Um, also, do you have anything All that right. grants you extra difficulty when things take rain shots right next to you? Uh, that's just a rule that exists in the base game no matter what. Um, I specifically have a thing that makes it so that I don't suffer that difficulty. Okay. Um, but I just wanted to check and make yeah. sure you're good. What I do have is resistance to all energy damage. So I'm kind of hoping it hits me because I take reduced damage and it ups my die. But, you know, if it doesn't hit me, that I'm also fine with it. Oh, it hits you. That's a crit on the roll. So 26. Oh. Okay, well, maybe not that... Maybe not like that. <laughs> not like this. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna I literally cannot make this not a critical. Sorry. Um, <laughs> even with the impaired, uh drops it down to a twenty-three. Ooh. <clears throat> so Pew Pew m Pew, um three D six. Doubled for the best that they can do. Five, five, six, second rolls. Four, five, five. Okay, so the best rolls were five, five, six. Uh, so you take sixteen. Uh, uh, obviously 16, reduced. I will... Yeah, half of that. And it is it armor piercing? Uh, no, this is not armor piercing. Okay, it's just and... energy. Uh, yeah, I reduce that by half and then remove my armor. So that's. That you did armor first and then reductions. Yeah, that that's what I said. Okay. Or no, wait, is, wouldn't that not do it? Because that would have that would, like, if it went down, then having it would be way worse. You'd be effectively removing more damage, right? Like if I was to have it to fourteen, or would it be more or less? I don't know the math on it. So it's, it's like, what's then, your armor? One or two, right? Uh, yeah. So we'll say your armor's two. Uh, if you took 16 and minus 2, uh, and then halved it, it would be, uh... 7, right? Yeah. So Whereas if, this way, if it's... If you do armor first, or armor afterwards, it's 8 cut by 2, and, by two and then goes to, uh, 6. Okay, well, that's, uh, that's one more damage, that's fine. Anyway, I take AP damage, my dice goes up. I'm halfway there already. He's about to explode, explode. Alright, uh, that was turret number uh, one. It is now on to Iron. Oh, wait, actually, or turret not. one, I think, uh, should be stunned since it failed that system save, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, so negate all that damage. Uh. Ignore yeah, them. actually, actually, no damage. Yeah. <laughs> actually, yeah, you're right. <laughs> um, actually, yeah. Hmm. Trying to swat a fly. How dare you? Um. <sighs> Are you ready? It's your turn. Since uh... yeah, I'm ready. I'm gonna do the same thing I did last time, except probably not. I'm gonna go run up to dude and smack him, smack a turret. Okay, 
still attacking number six, or are you finishing off five? Uh, well, no, we finished off six last time. Remember? Nope, six six was still up. You just slapped the oh. hell out of it. I thought I did. Okay, never mind. All right, yeah, I'll finish six off. Why not? Okay. Barrage again. Just doing math real quick. Yeah, okay, that'll be that'll be fine. Maybe. Maybe. I might have meltdown. Okay, let's see. Eighteen. Okay. Okay. And for damage. Three plus four. Not too bad. So I do thirteen damage. He done. He explodes. Dead to it. Heck yeah. That's one down. Okay. Uh, and then... I don't know if... If I only used one attack to kill something, do I get the other thing refunded? Like, if I barrage, right? Mm -hmm. Which is a full action, and mm -hmm. I only kill it with one, does the other action just whiff and I use the full action? Um, do I get... Technically, because there's some abilities that proc off whether you're uh, barraging or... <clears throat> yeah. I got you. In that case, uh, well, I'm just going to take two heat, but I won't be doing any much. I mean, you have, you can still do things, right? Like, can't you move after Well, you... if you barrage, you use two half actions, which take up your full action. So I can't do anything else. Because I barraged. Yes, but you can move in between actions. Or not in between actions. Uh, I guess not. No, you're right. And I wouldn't be able to make it anyway because they're ten spaces apart. Any well, they're anyhow. but remember they're up and down. They're up and down. So there's one you just goofed up six. The other one is three away, directly above you. Okay, well I can I can do that then. All right, I'll do that. Uh, seventeen. Okay, hits. Also, mouse just for uh estrogen and G's. Characters with resistance reduce damage, heat, or a type of damage by half after armor has been applied. Resistance, the same type of damage, does not stack. Okay. So, uh, yeah, you have it after you do your armor. Six energy, three burn. Okay. On to whichever one this is. Is this five? Five. So, sitting at 14 damage, if I've done my math right. It's hurt, but not dead. Yes, but it's now on fire. It's been on fire. You set it on fire last time. Then how did 16 survive? Or how you... did 6 survive? Be because it wasn't enough to finish it off. Never mind. Alright, moving on. <laughs> I was about to say, okay, never mind, it's fine. You're you're good. Uh, so you split it up against two targets last time. So it was you yep. did sixteen points of damage with your burning and all that fun stuff on one, and then you did <clears throat> eight on the one you just hit. Yep. Okay. Okay. <coughs> um, number two. 
Um, thanks to Mouse's integral goofing up of number one. Uh, this one's still impaired, thanks to Shiny Boy. Uh, but it is going to attack Iron for some reason. Big old fu across the oh, across the deck. Um, misses terribly though. Two plus pluses. I assume an eight misses. Yes, yes it does. Okay. Ew. I'm rolling a lot of twos over here, y'all. Twos or twenties. Be afraid. The twenties are coming. <laughs> Um, so with that, you, uh, it, 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 they have one action. They just pew pew. Um, next person, which would be, uh, Silver Boy. Silver Boy's, uh, not taking too many shots, but I think he's going to get a little, little bit more aggressive with his pew pewing and stabbing and whatnot. So he's flying up to number five to see if he can help finish it off. <clears throat> Eight plus pluses, 13 misses, uh, bonus free stabby attack with his sword. 13 plus 5, 18 hits. He'll do a whopping. One more point of damage. Because, you know, whatever. Goes through like Swiss butter. Uh, the thing is still standing. And I don't remember how he does all of his other fun stuff. So I'm going to stop there because I don't remember how to activate it. Um, Next is number 3. Number 3 has no targets and has not been impaired. Uh, pew pew Magoo at number. That's a D8, not a D10. Mouse! They do not like a Palma. Palma's palm over there ready for shenanigans. No shenanigans. We love sh uh, 8 plus what? Miss, uh, 14? Mouse? Uh, 14. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, that is. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Four, so a total of eight uh, pre resistance okay. and, so, and armor and all that fun stuff. So you reduce armor uh, first and then you have it. Yeah, great. So that would go down to six and then I have it two, three. Nice. And you charge uh, my die goes there. up by one. Yeah, well, it's sort of just gaining back the one from the damage that actually was taken that I didn't take. It's back to where it should be. All right, and next is uh, Palma. Palma's doing her same thing. You'd be in a body shield, actively soaking up picks, so I don't have to worry about it, which makes it turret number four's turn. Oh, Silver Boy takes a direct crit 20. Five, two, six, second rolls, one, four. One, so it's going to take 15 points of damage to the Silver Boy, which, if I'm looking at his paperwork, right? Let me pull him up really quick. Might have got it ass. Jackie, what mech is he flying currently? He only has one mech to fly. Um, With a 15, oh no, he's okay. He's I, I, I since I missed the last time. Uh, that hurt though, he's not happy. He probably should have braced. Next. Me. Sorry. I'm over here. I'm goofing around. Uh, Apocalypse turret. I'm down to three, baby. So I can fire now. Um, but I'm I'm charging it for the full effect. So we have the other devastating stuff. And so we can blow through the shield that's currently in the way. <clears throat> so. Uh, five and six. Uh, six is gone, so we don't have to worry about that. So number five. Targeting, uh, Waylon. Obviously, you're right there. You whacked it. Not okay. happy. Waylon, uh, 14. Uh. Sorry, 12. 6 and 6. Okay, nope. 12 doesn't go through. Okay. Uh, it missed. Back to the top of the order, Mouse. Okay. Uh, I will. Um. Oh, I forgot that I gained resistance to heat as well from the thing. Great. Okay. Awesome. Uh, I think it's going to be pretty much same as. I will actually move now that number one is stunned. 
You said there was something else. Uh, three. They're like in stacks, right? So there's another one that's like three above it, and then another one three above that. Or am I making that up? Say that one more time. Sorry. Uh, there, there's like. There's one that's like close to it that's above it, right? That's three up, and they're like in, uh, because if I, I'm trying to imagine the room, but there's like basically two on like a section of the wall, so there's like two that are near each other per like, yeah. Anyway, but there, like, so are there two turrets that are near each other? Like, is there is there one near the one that I'm attacking right now? If by near you mean three squares apart, yeah. yes, y yes. So there is a turret, three squares, and then another turret. So basically, they are yeah four away if you're going from on top of one to on top of another. Uh, okay. Then I'm gonna do a, a similar thing. I. Think. Um, I'm going to, yeah, why not? Okay. I also, by the way, I have a uh, soft cover when I'm, uh, engaged. So when I'm next to someone. Um, I am going to move, uh, just one, and I'm going to cover the other movement with, oh, what is it? It's my talent that I have. Uh, Lockbreaker, I'm just going to move two. Oh, well. Actually, I'm not going to, I'm just going to move all four to the other, um, turret. So this one is stunned, can't take reactions. Um, and then I'm going to barrage. It's going to, even though it isn't too great, uh, I'm going to use my spun up assault cannon first. Uh, and then attack with my nanocarbon sword. But this is still fine, mostly because I get heat. Uh, so my die goes up and they immediately take another, uh, what is it? Two AP damage. Um, and then I'm going to try to attack with the Assault Cannon, uh, which happens to be a 22. Critical. Blow it away. Yeah. It is not going to survive this attack. Guaranteed. Okay. Uh, then, I mean, yeah, that's 8 uh, kinetic. And then... I guess that's a bit of an issue, because now my sword has no one to target, and I am slowed. It is a bit of an issue. Uh, did I have to move three or four to the other? So you're, uh, you're sitting, again, optimally, you were sitting in front of it, so you would really only need to move two over to be in front of the other one. Okay. Great, which means that I should have one movement to move back, and because my sword is uh, range 2, it's a threat 2 weapon, I should just be able to attack the other one just fine. Okay. Uh, but I think I missed anyway with the 15. 15 hits? 15 hits, great. Then I will, in fact, roll damage, and it will be a total of 9 kinetic. Does that, does that do it? Uh, nine total? Uh, I mean, what about, how much damage did you do the first one? Uh, two. Number one, I just did, uh, three twice from Liable. It should have taken six, I think. Yeah, there's nothing else I should have done damage to me, from me. Because it would just be stunned. Okay, um, 
Yeah, so one's done, two is hurt. You're good to go. And you're uh, activating okay. the, the, the stun ability, yeah? Uh, I am, well, first of all, I get one more attack with my segment knife for free. Okay. Which that, misses. I was going to say, can you actually attack with your segment knife? Because it only has range one, right? Uh, oh, I guess I am slowed, so I can't use the movement ability. That doesn't matter. And then I will overcharge again. Ooh, uh, buh, buh, buh. Overcharge. I got really lucky and only took one heat again. Okay. Uh, Okay. And then I will try to... Uh, if two is injured but still alive... Yes. I will just try to do the exact same thing and smite. Uh, first of all, my my charge die goes up by one again. So it's now at five. And then I think if I actually hit with this invade... I might be all charged up. Anyway, let's see if I hit its E-defense. Uh, 19. Nineteen hits. Great. Then I'm going to smite. It's got to make a system save against... Um, oh, it also takes two heat, but I don't think that really matters. Anyway. System save against a DC of 15. Okay. And um, uh, I take... Nope, it fails, so it's stunned. Great. I take another one energy damage, and I am fully charged. Oh, it's immediately. Oh, I don't even get to choose. Well, now it has to make an engineering save. <laughs> Got a lot more going on than I do, <laughs> right? Uh, twelve plus plus is uh, fourteen. Uh, that just fails. Yeah. So it takes twenty four AP energy damage. Oh, it explodes. It's dead. Bye bye. I yeah. I basically all the energy that was charged up just starts to ripple across the, like, liquid gold on the body until it just shoots out, like, liquid thorns that just, like, become you know, basically, like, lightning rods. What's the range and of then, that? Uh, that is burst two. Okay, so, unfortunately, you don't hit anything else, but you do hit yeah, the head of your target. I was definitely planning to, like, save that until I read it's just, when I hit full charge, I just explode and I don't have any choice over it, and I was like, okay, well, there I go. There exploding I go, again. exploding again. Yeah, exactly. Um, perfect. So, uh, uh, yeah, that's the end of my turn. Okay. End of your turn, cool beans. Um, right now work. Uh, cool. So, you pew pew, chop a chop. Um, and then we go from there. So number one and two are gone, so it's now number three's turn. Number three! Just saw you explode, mouse. Let's see who it targets. You. Makes sense. Uh, bu -bu -bu. 17 definitely hits. Oh, yeah. You're taking one, two, three of these bad boys. Six. Five. Two. Uh, so, 11, cut in half after your reduction, should be, like, 4. Yeah. So. No, sorry, we round up. Oh, not round down in the system. So, 5. So, 5. Uh, unfortunately, the, the explosion is, um, I don't get it anymore. I still just have resistance to the damage, but... Yeah. Okay. Anything else? And no, I just take damage. Uh, 
Can I start doing the smashy smashing now? <coughs> Are we still waiting for her to shoot? Uh, you got anything left? Lost? I don't think so. It fired. It should be your turn. Me? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, time to do the smacking. Once again, I cast nuclear sword. Um, except I'm going to do this the fun way. I am going to activate uh, an ability nobody has seen before. I'm going to activate Lucifer Protocol. Okay. Listening. And. Mm. Mm. No, I won't limit break just yet. Yeah. I'm just going to smack it. All right. I'm going to go to the next one and smack it. Okay, I'm um, only going to come on, guess. Okay, let's do this. I'm only going to skirmish on this because I am confident this will kill it. Okay. Because I haven't activated this before. This is going to be fun. Okay. Okay, so. How many D6s do we have? One, two. Three, four. All right. Rolling attack roll. Real upset if this misses. 19, it hits. Oh, no, wait, that... Yeah, nope, 19. That's good. So close. Okay. Alright, now damage. I'm just going to give you the total damage. Hold on. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Thirty-six damage. Thirty-six damage. Only twelve of that is uh, actual, like kinetic. Bye, turret. Those already seriously damaged. I didn't want it to survive, so I didn't let it survive. It did. It's super dead. It's you hurt the ship while you're at it. Yay. All right, after you is turret number five, uh, which is gone. So, yay. Not even parts left. Sorry, turret number four is up, right? Because we did one, yeah, it's four. There's only four and five left. You guys have goofed up two of the three. All right, uh, number four has a plethora of targets. 
It hasn't been slapped yet. Uh, bu -bu -bu. Hey, this one finally attacks a Pama, which activates its stupid dragon death worm ability. Uh, <laughs> so let's see if it even hits. It does not even hit, and it's stunned. Congratulations, Dum Dum number one. So, uh, that's its turn. It's now Silverboy McGee's turn. He's going to step up to m number uh, four, who is, you know, holding on for dear life. Regular attack. Criticals. One, two, six, four, and six, ten. Whole points of stabby stab damage. He makes a secondary free attack. That's another two. What the? Can I land on something besides a two tonight? Yeah. Uh, but, but, uh, still misses. Um, that's it. That's all. I'm giving him his two. Uh, after that, we go to the next turret, which is, uh, turret number five, which you have stunned, correct? Right? Sorry. Three and four are left. Three and four. I keep saying the wrong numbers. Four just got schwacked by our friend. And three is over there doing its thing, and it missed terribly. Four is up. It's stunned. We're not worrying about it. Next. Me. Sorry. Uh, I guess technically a Pama, but she's doing the same thing. And then it's me, because there's only two enemies left. Uh, spin the thing down. I'm down to two. You guys make it one more round. I can fire it. Um. And yeah, that's... that's uh. Top of the order. Mouse, you are at, okay. at, at where five was. Four is directly above you by three squares. And has been slightly damaged by right. a silver friend. Uh, that is very good because I'm just going to fuck it up. Uh, I'm just gonna move up in melee, and I'm just gonna skirmish with the sword. Uh, actually, uh, we're we're gonna do invade first because this is this will be better. Uh, yeah, just gonna do quick tech invade, boom. Uh, that is probably a complete failure, because I got a five. Oh, natural one, even. Blech. Well, then, never mind. Oh, it should have had an accuracy, but it doesn't matter, because it's not one. Anyway, and then I will skirmish, having accomplished nothing. Um, yeah, nice. <laughs> Anywho, 18 to hit with the sword. Got him! Roll damage. Nice. You Nine damage. Nine whole damage. Also, you're attacking number three. That is done. So it moved up. Um, nine whole damage. Rough. Yep. Still alive, but hurt thoroughly between the two of you that have slapped it. And then I will use a free action to attack with the segment knife. I believe in you. Um. I don't think that this one will hit, unfortunately. Uh, it's only a 13. 13 misses. Yep. Okay. That's sad. That's um, sad it literally got like one hit point left. You know, I'm still in core power, so fuck it. I'm going to overcharge again. Do it. Okay, I rolled a maximum, which does suck. However, I still take uh, half heat. So, uh, I only take five, which puts me in the danger zone, which is good. Um... And I'm just going to skirmish with a nanocarbon sword again, because, you know, that's what it do. That is a critical hit for 23. 
Got him, roll damage. Uh, that is... This is all going to be energy damage because it's going to deal two extra heat on hit and uh, an extra... Uh, oh, wow, an extra six. So 12 energy damage from my sword. Uh, and I guess I also deal three kinetic damage to any characters and objects of my choice within threat other than the one I just attacked, but I don't think anyone else is within range two of me, or any other turret that is. So, just 12 damage to this guy. Twelve more damage. Uh, bye. Excellent. That'll end my turn. All right, your turn is <laughs> over. It's now turret number five's turn. Uh, it's right next to you, there, Iron. So it's gonna pew pew. Sorry, number four. Number three is dead. One, two, three, five, and six are all gone. The only thing left is number four. Yay. Number four. Next to Ironish, shooting to Ironish. Uh, 14. Uh, yes, that does hit. All right. Five. Three. Three. Uh, so a total of 11. Okay. That's not bad. Is this round three? Yes, this is this is it. So, uh, the other two are going to uh, do stuff and things, I guess. Uh, Stabby Stab McBoy is going to take all of his speed and run all the way across the map because he has more than ten when he dashes, uh, and make one singular attack. Miss terribly. Make his free bonus action attack. Miss terribly. Cry about it. Uh and then we're going to have a Pama. A Pama's going to chill there and continue being her defensive self. Uh, not that she needs to, because it's my turn. And guess what? It's round one! Which means we pull up our handy-dandy explosive kit. After I close out Silverboy's documents. And we click the apocalypse rail. It's charge number one. And I fire using the full action. Um, so what this does is it has a blast of two, which won't matter because I'm putting it right in between the two large reactors in the uh, shielded room. It's AP, so it goes through the defensive shield that would be in front of it uh, and then does 46 explosive damage. But because this technically counts as terrain or ground, uh, where it hit is vaporized on impact for the rest of the scene is difficult terrain. Again, won't matter because, you know, dead. Uh, but it does 100 AP explosive damage to any objects in other words, there goes that entire back end of the ship that we were uh, kind of yep. sitting in. Yep, yep. Yeah, you guys are going to be right next to the explosion. It's going to be beautiful. We're going to be blasted out into space. 100%. So I'm going to cut scene this a little bit. I really want to see what these... these... <laughs> see, this is... Yeah, go, go ahead. Do it up. I'm uh, curious. I didn't miss the shot, so that's important. Uh... <laughs> but hope... The shot is everything. <laughs> Five, two, two. I was hoping to crit though, because that would be hilarious. Four. Uh so an additional I think moving that direction. Additional 13 points of damage. So we do 113 points of damage to the ship uh directly on its uh engines. Um the explosion that occurs yeets our friends, so Apama and uh Silver Boy Jackie into Space, just there, gonzo. The three of us happen to hit the asteroid field that is behind the ship uh, and take some pretty severe damage. Uh, but we get to watch the fireworks as the... Uh, do, we, do you guys remember the name of this ship? No. I don't. Okay, it was like the... It was the yellow something. I can't remember what it was. We'll just call it the yellow uh, sunrise. Sun, sunflower, something like that. Someone go back and watch the earlier episodes and correct me in the comments. Uh, but anyway, this yellow bastard turns every other color of the rainbow and explodes in a very violent way. Um, it is seen from outside the asteroid field as the engines implode upon themselves, create a small dark hole, 
and then a regular uh, small uh, supernova-esque thing and just shred it to pieces. The couple thousand people that were probably piloting this thing are dead. There's no way they lived. Uh, the fact that you three survived this and Jackie and Apama, you know, in space somewhere, um, is a miracle all on its own. Uh, you guys got nuked recently. This is almost the equivalent of that, except for you're in space. And there's nowhere you can scream. The three of you wake up in hospital beds. Uh, about a week later, you are back on the handy dandy uh, Tim Paris. Uh, wait, sorry, brain fart. Uh, time of death. Uh, Temper Fugit. Temper Fugit. I don't know. Anyway, the the ship that we're on. Um, and are greeted again by a bunch of handy-dandy nurses and medics. After about a day of recovery, the three of you get up and are happy to hear that your friends are fine, they just haven't recovered fully yet themselves. So, Yay. you guys get some downtime. Congratulations. High fives all around. Woo! Mission accomplished! <coughs> Everything hurts. I think I have more metal in me than I started off with. It's true. As you, uh, before you start your downtimes, though, uh, you guys are gonna license level up, because you completed a mission, which was destroy the ship. We did it. And Who did knew it. that the only thing to destroy the ship was to blow the entire sand out of I mean, there were other options. You just, uh, pick the prettiest. We chose the fun one. Exactly. It had the highest chance of success, as long as we could pull it off. Right. So, I'm gonna pull up, uh... The thing on my big screen here so people can see it and show the level up process and then we'll walk through your guys. Does that sound good? Now, uh, after this though, uh, do we want to call an early night or continue after downtime or what's the thought here before we get too much farther? Um, just because we're at the hour something mark and I want to set expectations for people watching this silly video. I'm uh, down to call it here only if to like make sure that our fellow pilots don't, like, miss anything. Since we could very well, like, probably get started with, like, the next mission. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, we we could, like, all level up relatively at the same time-ish. As in, you know, we do it and then they do it, but we're all at the same page. Yes. Yeah. We could just put it into the group chat and just, like, hey, everybody, we're now licensed level 10. Yep. And then we can do a little recap on what everybody picked for their license level. Okay, well, Come so to eat up some of our time so we can get a little bit closer to our mark, let's do the three of us, and then yeah. we'll do them in the background, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then we'll also do our downtimes, and their downtimes are going to get lost because they weren't here. Sound good? Sure. Mm. All right, so starting with me, woohoo! Um, I'm not going to screen share, I'm just going to walk you through it. So leveling up to level 10, woo! Ooh, all kinds of new stuff. So, first thing first, uh, skill. Hmm, where are my skills at? Everything, uh, I could up my dancing. Um, I think get a hold of something, putting that at a six is going to keep, uh, everything copacetic. <laughs> there it is. Boop. All right, moving on. To an improved talent. Oh man. Do I get a whole new thing? Do I upgrade brutal finally? Do I give up on that and do something else? Hmm. Oh, I could finish Black Thumb because I uh I had to give that up to do the, the other thing last time. What do you guys think? What are your, what are your thoughts on this? Anybody? Sorry, I'm looking through what I want to do with my character and just thinking. Sorry, I, I didn't hear what you said. Sorry. It's all good. Could just... you repeat that? What? I just wanted to know what I wanted to do. 
<laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I can't answer questions for you. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. God damn it. Okay, I'm going to just make it easy and upgrade Black Thumb so it's fully, fully unlocked. All right, moving on. Uh, and then we're updating one of our skills here. Do I get... Do Oh, man, this is always such a hard one for me. It's like... Such a generalist. I like having stuff even, but also I like having good evasion in my slow ass mechs. And I would like my health to be better. Um <laughs> the image of a Barbarossa just bullet do bullet dodging. Matrix style. Mm. Except at this point your bullets are the size of artillery pieces, but you know. Tomato what? tomato. Tomato tomato, yeah, right. Um or do I take engineering to up that heat capacity? <sighs> How do you guys make these decisions so hard on me? Oh. You know, I'm going to stick with the general output and upgrade my engineering because I really do need that heat capacity for the loadouts I do. And then we have to pick a new license. Woo! Um, and I believe the only style I don't have is the Horus system. So I'm going to pick up a Horus system. Do another Gorgon. Just have a whole squad of Gorgons. Oh, God. Nobody will be able to do anything. <laughs> we're, just, we're just there for 28 hours. All right. Uh, What about Minotaur? Is that one any good? I have a few Minotaur systems. Kind of planning to take more, but... Okay. What about Cobalt? Uh, Ooh, I'm, I'm, I'm mostly taking Horus stuff anyway, so... Really, whatever you pick will probably be somewhere under my umbrella. That's fair. Um, or do I take Lich? Ah, oh, man, that's a hard choice. All these sound super cool, um, but, you know, I don't remember how good they actually are. <laughs> what about the Manticore? So, I mean, that's the mech that I am. Oh, okay. But I won't steal that one, then. Its systems are good. Yeah, 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 but I want to see new stuff. So, like, I don't know if I want to do Cobalt Lich or Minotaur. Tell you what, I have nothing in Goblin or Cobalt. I know uh, Apama has some Goblin stuff. Yes. Um, the Cobalt at least has a rifle on it. Mm -hmm. Minotaur, though. You get a lot of stuff for unlocking level two. It's like four things. If you want to do something where you get a bit more tankier, uh, Saladin's not too bad. Saladin? Where's Saladin? His thing is shields. His special thing is shields. Wait, where's Saladin? Uh, he's all the way towards the bottom. Harrison Armory. With uh, Tokugawa. Oh, oh gotcha. Yeah, yeah. So I already have a Harrison Gar Ar Ar Armory. That's the Barbarossa. So my, my build for this uh, 12 levels is one in each. Main thing. Oh, uh, okay. Because I'm. A, Which ones do you not have? The only the I'm in the horse system, so it's got to be one of those. Ooh, if you want to be more tanky, I'd look at Baylor for sure. Well, Baylor. Baylor would get him to lose the gun, though. Well, you, you get a cool thing that you can equip to the gun yeah. as well. Baylor is also much more of like a melee character, but you yeah. are fairly quick, so I think you could make it work. Yeah, 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 yeah. His entire thing is grappling. Oh, yeah, that's not my character. Yeah. My character, I mean, not my character is very much a like range exactly, for the most part. Yeah, who? As long as you're standing still, Baylor works fine. Oh yeah, no, no. Yeah. I don't like to be close to people. This character is not a up close and personable unless I'm invisible. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's see. What about Hydra? Does anyone rock in the Hydra yet? Hydra. Uh, Hydra's drones. We had somebody who did that originally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the captain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. Mentor just sounds fun. Can I just see the whole picture? I guess this is pretty gun too, or pretty good too. Smart gun is. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, technically, Frozen has that one. That was his first one. Oh, okay. And, and then he switched to the Gorgon. Okay. Um, you could do Candela. It's in the Minotaur frame. Or you could go Man Manticore if you wanted to be funny. Manticore is funny. 
I'm fun again. Manticore is actually a really good frame. The issue is it's very well known for just, hey, let's blow up. That's how Manticore do. That is how the Manticore do. Okay, I, I gotta do Minotaur. Looking at this frame, it's ridiculous. Very fun. He likes black holes. Oh, okay. Yeah, that sounds fun. It's good. I don't, I don't have any... Yeah, this is the one. And then the Candela frame looks terrifying. So basically, you get two frames for the price of one. It's weird, but I'm going to do it. All right, so what? what's... We'll see what that unlocks for me and what I can do. All right, no license level. Surprise, surprise. Uh, no extra fun stuff, so let's update. And there we are. All right, so now let's go to the mech hanger. All right, you two. Well, I'm goofing around in the mech hanger here. Uh, what are you guys doing? What's the plan? What, what, where you at? What you thinking? Sort of run you through what the, like, uh, plan is for me, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to up, read a situation. Uh, four talents. We are going to... Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, we're gonna up Hunter to two. Because why not? Why not? Uh, and then we are going to... Uh, we're going to improve engineering. Oh, oh, this is tough. Actually, we'll do hull. I want more HP. And repair capacity goes up. And then for licenses, it is pretty tough. Why'd you say that? Why is it tough? What's wrong with that? Well, I've got a lot of good options. Uh, mm. Because it's going to finish off Manticore. Trying to get a new frame. Uh, or something like that. I see. I see. That makes sense. Yeah, there's lots that I could get that would be very good. Uh, so I could also get Minotaur to get some very funny tech options that would uh, generally help me. But I think we are going to... Oh, this is tough. Understand. Give up some custom paint jobs on my silly mech for some of these upgrady things, so. Uh, you know, I think we're just gonna finish off Manticore to get the EMP pulse and lightning generator. Uh, no core bonus, and that's that's all she wrote. Basically, I'm replacing all of my flak turrets with this vi uh, <laughs> vibral logic suite. I can tell you guys what I'm doing. Yeah, what you doing? I'm picking up uh Sherman. Oh, oh, nice, nice. Because like if that. I get up to the final thing, I can plug in this and then Well, here's all the skirmishes. <laughs> I shake my head. <laughs> it's either that or segment, but I don't think you guys want me going segment. No. 
Hey, let's give the already murderous person a uh, AI who's just as deranged as he is. Yeah, that'll end out well. To be fair, uh, Lucifer's not exactly very calm either. True, true. His special ability is, hey, how much heat do you have? Okay, the next melee attack you do has, does that much damage tacked onto it as energy. And in my case, that turns into burn. Hence the 35 or 36 damage I did last time. Which is just ridiculous. <sighs> All right, need some stuff. So, let's see. What is camouflage? I really want to have to take like either one of those. You ever build a mech that's perfect? You don't have to change anything. That's that's it. I did I did perfect on the uh, metal mark. It can't be any better than it is. <clears throat> Just kidding. Anyway, so uh, we're all good on our stuff. Let's do some downtime actions. Yeah. Mhm. Mm all right. With only three of us, and talking through this is really easy. Uh, <laughs> okay. Pulling up the stuff and the things. Action economy. Scroll, 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 scroll. All right. Uh, so, we have two. And with my super cool ability from my character, I grant an extra one. So, with the three of us, if there's anyone that wants to do an extra thing, let's do it. Um, because you guys have been rolling stable on the engineering core and the flight core for so long, I am no longer going to make you roll on that. Um, just because it, they haven't been highly utilized after there's now more people in charge than you and you don't necessarily have direct command over them. Um, so the organizations will fall apart via storyline, not via you guys did anything wrong. Though, if you do have the opportunity to use them, I will count that into your roles and things. Sound good? Yeah. All right. So, downtime. What do you guys want to do? Uh, there's three of us. Uh, the other two are sleeping. Their downtime is recovery. I'm going to do two things. Okay. First, I'm going to gather information specifically about the next target that we're going to go and do. Okay. Whew. See if any more information has popped up in the, you know, couple days we've been unconscious. I, I, I. All right. And I have, sorry, I should probably have two of these open. Well, ah, I don't. just as a note, you will be using that hack server that I crafted a couple sessions ago. Uh, so you can gain some information directly from our intelligence analysts. So it doesn't really Oh yeah, that would be fantastic. <laughs> yeah, you're basically and just stealing I information from the captain before he gives it out. Well, okay, if that's, that, if that's the case, can I use a hack? get that or is it just kind of it's still, it's still gather information so oh, okay that's okay the roll is the same all right well rolling 14 14 you find what you're looking for but choose one of the following you leave a clear trace of evidence of your rummaging uh you have dispatched someone or implicated someone innocent to avoid attention Story. I'm going to implicate someone. Perfect. Okay, so as you implicate someone, uh, basically the hack terminal that I've patched into belongs to one of the ensigns on the board, uh, and they're going to get reprimanded for whatever information you accessed uh, because it's you know not necessarily something that they were told to do, and it looks weird. Um, yeah. But, so you're looking on information on next possible missions, right? So you guys can yep. kind of have an idea of what's going on ahead of time. So... Uh, with the destruction of the destroyer in the system, uh, the taking over of the outer moon colony stuff, 
uh, and dealing with all the things that you guys have done, the space is basically yours. So that means you guys get to refocus on getting to the planet and retaking it over. Obviously, you guys have the couple of bases that you set up and they've been defending. You guys have been running strike missions. Not you guys necessarily, but, you know, the, the group. Um, so it is now time to really be on the offensive uh, because you're not going to get side swiped from atmosphere. They're not going to be able to bombard wherever you guys attack, so on and so forth. Um, and if you guys have to bombard, so on and so forth, you have two destroyer class ships that can do so. Um, so they are taking a bold target uh, at a refinery on the dry side of the planet is the next oh. major objective. Um, so okay. they'd be sending the Lancer crews in uh, to basically soften up the systems to where the rest of the, the units could fall in and whatnot. So it is a strike mission on you guys. How you go about it is up to you. If it's sneaky, sneaky, disably, if it's out of mech, if it's... Um, in mech with a whole bunch of backup, it's on you guys. I mean, you'll kind of have that conversation with the captain, but they have situations run for all three of those scenarios. Okay. I am then going to use, now knowing that, my second action. Okay. And I'm going to barter or scrounge to get some uh, fire support. Ooh, okay, interesting. All right, roll it. Remember, you can use your skills that are appropriate for these downtime actions. Yep, I'm trying to think what would be... Oof, excuse me. Nope, I think just a plus five would just be the best for this. Okay. Rolling. Nice. Plus five, that is a 17. Seventeen total. Yes. Uh, that gives you. You get what you want, but you choose the price you need to pay. Time, dignity, or reputation. Also, what kind of uh, fire time. support are you getting? Uh, time, probably something more like uh, uh, like a bombardment, probably. Okay, so if we go to our reserves and bonuses, uh, this will be what would be good for this one. Uh, tactical reserves? Yeah, tactical reserve. So, are you trying to pick up some kind of uh, special vehicle for this deployment? Do you want bombardment backup? Uh, do you want some That would be nice. Do we get, assistance? like, an artillery truck or something? An artillery truck? Can we just get, like, a couple Barbarosas that are just sitting there in the distance? Hello, yes. Can you just eliminate that entire direction over there, please? Yes, oh, thank you. Yeah, so you, thank you. so you can add the reserve bombardment. This ability is to call an artillery or orbital bombardment once during mech combat. It uses a full action. Uh, the range within 30 of line of sight. Blast 2, 3d6 explosives. Perfect. Can I give that out to the entire team as an option? Uh, I mean, you've picked up one. Uh, other people can spend their actions and pick up more. Fair enough. Okay. I just wanted to make it like a, a team available thing where it's just like, all right, we oh, can yes. all in a bombardment. Yes. Okay. Yeah, perfect. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm going to, I'm. that's what I'm going to do. It, it, it'll be something that if like nobody's got time to do anything else, like if you're going to be charging up something, then you can just use your full action to call another bombardment. You're charging so, up your rail cannon again. Sounds good to me. Uh, so it's just something to do. But yeah, that, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping that there. Everybody can take it if they want. Yep, I have to. I actually have to mark my bombardment and my hot loaded ammunition as used. Speaking of, thanks for reminding me. Okay, cool beat. So that's your two actions. Um, mouse. Uh, okay. We're gonna first do get focused. Okay, what you like? Um. Uh, doing more chess. I'm gonna basically Ooh. be. Doing the same thing where I'm like playing like holographic chess with a chain. Okay. And like basically trying to not tell them everything. For kind of like the first time, just to like kind of just see what's like, see if he's using any of the information that I've been regularly giving. 
against me. So I'm going to just mention very non-specific stuff. Uh, yeah, but mostly get better chat. Uh, and then for my other one. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I want to do gather information, and I want to try to do that uh, same thing. Um, try to like basically look into Horus stuff um, that's going on. I want to be looking over the Omnet, and yeah. Okay. Okay. I got a 12. Twelve total. Yeah, twelve total. <sighs> On which action? One more time. Sorry. Gather information. So I either have to leave clear evidence of your yep. rummaging or yep. dispatch someone along the way or implicate someone. Correct. Probably going to be leaving clear evidence of my rummaging because I'm on the Omninet, so someone probably can trace that. Yep. Relatively easy. But that's okay. No biggie. You hope. Dun, dun, dun. So, uh, that will have lasting consequences later, but not the end of the world currently. So, uh, you've upped your chess game, and you got found finding information out on horse. Now, with that finding information out on horse, uh, are you doing this more of a narrative thing, or do you actually want to learn some stuff about it? Um... I mean, it's I, kind of both, but mostly it's, uh, like, trying to see if, like, now that I know that Shane is trying to maybe work against me, I'm trying to, I'm trying to basically see if he's been, um, using his influence on, like, the planet that, uh, we're trying to like take over and i know that he's in very close proximity with uh you know horus since he's who's pretty much who got me the horus mechs to begin with mm -hmm. basically just looking for like horus activity on like the and then just to see if i can find any evidence of his gotcha. stuff there um, so you guys will have noticed in combat that a lot of your mechs that you guys were fighting against were Horus models of various sorts. Um, not necessarily the same kind that you Lancers use, but, you know, the, uh, I'm trying to think, the artillery pieces, like the Rainmakers and stuff, are Horus built, usually. Uh, stuff like that. Uh, so there's no lack of Horus mechs running around <laughs> causing havoc. Ouch. Um, but, also, uh, you will find with your a whopping 12, uh, that uh, some of the intel gathered while you guys were out and about had mentioned a uh, what's the best way to describe a mercenary group has landed on planet from an outside source. Okay. And that's about all the information that you were able to gather on the Omni yet that is going to be helpful whatsoever for this. Cool. Well, then. We've got our own little Star Fox situation going on, kind of. Kind of, sort of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weird. All right, uh, my turn? I believe so. All right, well, I'm going to start with Scounge and Barter, and I'm going to use my Get a Hold of Something. Um, very much like our friend, I'm going to try and pick up at least one set of bombardments that we can use. Oh, or I, sh I should say one extra set. I rolled a 16 total after all my pluses and things, so I get it, but I lose time, dignity, or reputation. 
Um, I'm going to lose some of my dignity. I have to beg for this. Um, from the fire support team to give us a second one, and so they're not super happy with me, but uh, whatever. I'll take I'll take the L. It's not the first time I begged. I used to live on a prison planet. You beg for things every once in a while. <laughs> um, let's see what else we need. Oh, I'm gonna get connected. Um, and I am going to help have this connection be a uh basically a map of the other side. Of the planet, because all we have is orbital scans, and that's, you know, helpful, but not super helpful. I mean, it doesn't give us names or locations or anything like that. Uh, so basically, I'm talking to our local rebels to see if they have anything that can assist us while doing things. Uh, six. Um, plus pluses, which I think is only going to be a five. So Sorry, nine. So nine plus five. Fourteen. Your contact will help you, but you've got to do a favor to make good on our promise afterwards. If you don't, follow the result. Treat us not at us in the future. Whatever. All right. So um, they're going to give us direct routes uh, to avoid enemy scans and things like that. Uh, so getting on planet will be a little bit easier. But uh, there are some prisoners that are being held at the location that we are planning to strike uh, that we will have to release safely. Thumbs up. Um, we're going to get creative. Um, and I'm going to try to build some of those miniature uh, EMPs. Um, so we know how to do all of them. I'm literally just rolling this to see if I can make one or two. Um, so if I get crit plus, cool means. If I don't get crit plus, uh, you know, we get one. Total of ten. So we get one. Um, if someone could add that to your character, I'd be very appreciative. And then last but not least, we get an extra action. Would one of you guys like an extra action or should I, should I take it? Uh, I think I'm on. You, you can take it. All right. I'm going to get focused, uh, and learn how to dance better. Cause you know, why not? Means I gotta go to my character. Do a do another skill point dismiss. And turn on the bombardment. Yes. Oh, I have to gosh dang it. Add a whole extra reserve for this. That's dumb. All right, there we go. My dancing's now a plus four. If that ever comes into play, we're going to giggle about it later. All right, well, that's our downtime action, and I think this is the appropriate place to stop for the night. Uh, as for uh, doing stuff and things, we're a little bit short on time, so we're just under the two-hour mark at one hour and 45-ish minutes, but that's okay. We can do our after-action review and talk about things and uh, do our level-up character stuff stuff for stress and all that fun stuff you guys good with that yeah all right so let's yep. let's start with um could i i think first. i might have to get going a little soon how dare you uh, <laughs> how, how dare you try to leave early apologize for this transgression oh no um so if we're starting with mine which we're not, because we're going to start with Mouse, because he's got to get going. So, Mouse! Uh, yeah, 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 right. Uh, hold on, let me just go to the... So, one stress for free. Yep. Um, one pilot XP for free. Yep. Uh, oh yeah, I think I got a bond power from actually leveling up since we reached one of the... I don't know if it's every other level, or, or it's like every three or something. Something like anyway. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It says that I have bond powers available for some reason. Yep, but... I have two currently, and I think that's just because we hit 10, because I think it's every five levels. Every... So you get one at one, oh. one at five, and one at 10. 
Okay. Wait, are you talking about the... Uh, then the I powers? will take... Yeah, the bomb powers, you get like five total for free as you level up through the game. So that way, if you're not getting pilot so, XP, yeah. you still get something. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'll take those powers, which are pretty cool. Uh, and then... I'm actually not sure that... Uh, really, any of these are a yes. Besides, uh, there's, um, unless you count, I showed someone how it's done by exploding. Uh, I, but I like, I, I like the irony in that one, but I don't think so. Uh, okay. If that had been and the think... highest damaging attack, hell yeah, but it was not, unfortunately, because Waylon over there is like, I'm just going to do 50 damage in a turn because F you, whoever's standing behind you. Yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's it then. I don't think any of the other things give me pilot experience. <laughs> okay, well then one XP for this session. Don't feel so bad. Uh, no extra stress. Nothing stressed you out extra. Playing chess didn't stress you out. I don't. I don't think so. I think everything was still cliches in their element in in a battle. Okay. Then you're good. Alright, uh, Uh, well, alright. So, first off, I get the one from just kind of showing up. Mm -hmm. I am also going to give my, uh, boon of iron for someone who did a feat of athleticism, acrobatics, or physical force to, uh, to Hex. Woo! Because he he was the one that blew up everything. I'll take it. It's, if that's not a show of force, I can't really... Listen, <laughs> you said I had the lar- like the most damaging single attack in this session. That's a lie, and you know it. Uh, 100 okay. kinetic AP. Alright, fair, fair, fair. Anyway. So, there's that. Um, challenges with strength, leadership, or force. I mean, nothing really like that. I don't think I really got anything else, necessarily, apart from maybe a carefully curated arson, because I erased that third turret off the face of the earth. So, I think that's about it. Okay. Uh, how's your stress looking? Stress is pretty good. Still fairly low. Alright. Uh, that means it's me, so I'm getting my whopping one, and then my bonus one, and then I don't think any of my stuff applies. We didn't make any new friends. Uh, I didn't do anything speaking with my gut. Uh, and then there wasn't a strong sense of community. Didn't, you know, didn't talk about my past too much. Uh, nor did I express my heritage, belief, backgrounds, or whatever through my actions, because all I did this session was go kaboom. Um, stress-wise, though, I hit broken. So, that means I get to add a burden. So, what is my new burden? I will let you guys kind of pick this out for me. What would make sense? I'm thinking, like, uh, irradiated or something like that that makes me, like, be isolated when I'm not in my mech for now uh, because of the explosion and all that fun stuff. Yeah, I feel like definitely something relating to completely obliterating the enemy ship. Probably something that might get you a burden of some kind. Or even, like, maybe you're just infamous for the person who killed a bunch of people on that ship, or just, I don't know. Give myself some. the Death Star burden? You killed yeah, the, you're four the... million Imperial troopers. Most of them were innocent. You bastard. Um... <laughs> Okay, so uh, so this could be a po- positive or negative burden that's hard to get rid of that is literally just like the butcher or something along those lines. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, yeah, whatever, whatever you want to do, I guess. Okay. That's a silly, silly name. The Space Scar. There we go.
It's a dumb name. We can fix that later. <laughs> All right, so the resolution is leave the system. The, that'll It's just a nickname these pirate yahoos have given my mechs, uh, and they will attack me more often than not. Okay. Got four segments. Um, yeah, well, again, I'll, I'll make that make sense later. Uh, cause again, I don't know what the four segments will do for this one, but there's that, delete that. That's that. So, uh, let's talk about powers. You guys get two new ones. So if you guys haven't maxed out on your trees powers, you can go beyond. I'm allowing that as your GMDM. You can have as many powers as you earn through this campaign. <clears throat> and they can be from whatever bonds that you have acquired appropriately. Thoughts? Sure. Okay. I did already pick, and if you just want to know what they are... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I got Ultimatum and Blood Scent. So, Blood Scent is, if someone or something is bleeding, I get an accuracy on any effect to intimidate, track, or harm. Uh, an Ultimatum is a, two times a session, I look someone in the face, I lock eyes with them, and I ask them very, very politely um, what I need, probably with a gun under the table. Uh, and they either give me what I want right now, or they choose one. They either run away, uh, or they escalate the situation, resorting to physical violence, calling it back up, raising the stakes, etc. Nice. Okay. I like that. I'm picking Metal Boom. So for the rest of the scene, you cannot... Roll less than a 10 on any skills involving or using or use the use or understanding of technology. Treat any D20s as a result or 9 or lower as a 10. And then uh, Mender, when you wish to fix something broken, a relationship, an object, an alliance, name your approach. You can do it, but the GM chooses one of two things, that, one or two things that you will need to bring desperate parts together in one place, specific materials. Uh, or more time to find out what's missing, to be comfortable with not fully fixing it. Okay. And when you have what you need, you may perform a downtime action and play the scene out to fix it. When you do, you gain one XP. Woo! That's a lot. <coughs> Iron, what about you? Um... I don't know. I really don't got anything right now. <laughs> All right. Well, you can pick that later. That's fine. So uh, we're right at 153, which means I'm going to BS and talk for a couple minutes and we'll go from there. Um, so this week coming forward, uh, we have our podcast. Um, we will also, uh, it is, what weekend is this? Is this the uh, 11th and 12th? So nothing super crazy this weekend. Next weekend, we'll have our podcast, followed by uh, possibly having uh, PopCon and possibly having, uh, no, sorry, PopCon will be the following week. Never mind. None of that this weekend. Don't worry about it. Just the podcast next week. Uh, if you didn't see yesterday's D&D session, check it out. Uh, again, check out our fancy, fancy new dice. These silicone bad boys are super fun to roll. Uh, where they're up online on the website, and if they're not, someone yell at me, but they should be. I don't have any pictures up, but they all got fun names. If you need pictures, you can always just send me a message and be like, what do they look like? It'll get on there eventually. Um, They are 15 whole dollars at this point, so they're one of our cheaper dice sets, so that'll be good. We're very excited to have them. Um, yeah. Other than that, thumbs up. Um, I hope you guys have fun. Again, we're going to do our quick little after-action report so you can get out of here. 
Uh, so, with adventure in mind, have a wonderful time. Maybe if I can find the music. There it is. <laughs>